He's pretty spunky, he's got a lot of energy. He can be pretty emotional, so when something is bad, it's, it's all bad right now, but the moment something is good, it, you know, best day ever type of thing. You know, he can get kicked down many times, but he, he always gets up. Intestinal failure, one out of five stars. Would not recommend. Between 12 and 18 months, he just started to not have regular bowel movements, but it never seemed to bother him. So we're like, well, maybe he's just, that's his normal. But then it, between 18 months and two years, it became like, a week at a time, two weeks at a time. We're like, hey, this is not normal. We took him for an ultrasound because his doctor actually noticed a mass, so they thought it was cancer. And the ultrasound confirmed it was actually just like calcified stool. And it was the size of a baseball. You know, over a period of time, it just progressively got worse to a point, you know, where we were fully reliant um, out of the hospital. He couldn't tolerate food anymore, and his intestines kept shutting down. They removed the colon, and small intestine became paralyzed. And now that's basically where we're at. He's an intestinal failure, but nobody knows why. Uh, I feel like there's always something I need to do or should be doing. Um, uh, watching it is painful. Living it is worse. From day one, like Dr. Lemin has taken us all under her wing and she says all the time, I'm not gonna give up on Pacey. They always have listened and, and respected what we feel is right and that's how we've gotten this far. We all kind of work as one, one big family. He had a perforation, so there was a hole in his intestine, and they whisked him away. We ran after them, and then we said our goodbyes, and we didn't know if we would ever see him again. So at the end of the day, they came to talk to us, and they said he's a very, very sick boy. We, we followed them up to the ICU, and we see this, this body lying there, and it looked like he was dead, and he was so puffy. His stomach was completely ripped open, and there was so many tubes. I was standing over him because I'm like making sure his chest is going up and down, and he's like, Mom, sit down. Just don't worry about me. He's a heck of a lot stronger uh, than me. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure where he gets all of his strength from. I know he, I know he trusted the Lord a lot, and um, I'd like to say it's for me or, or the wife, but I think it's beyond that. This is my port, I named it Pizza Port, and then this is bacon, he makes lots of boogers, just saying, <laughs> and biscuit is the three inches left in my colon and then I got Bob under biscuit. The TPN being able to be done at home has really allowed him to gain weight to a healthy weight and he's had more energy than he's ever had. At this point, it's not about how to fix it anymore. It's about let him be a kid and, and focus on the quality of life. This year, we were able to go to a cabin and just do the things that the kids wanted to do and swim and mini golf and all the things that tire parents out. Everything was my favorite this summer. The tools or the stuff he has on his body help him to be healthy and happy. So we always tell him, embrace what you got. Don't be ashamed of it. Without it, we wouldn't be here today. 
Donating is extremely important because Pacey's not the only one. There are, we have met so many people with sick kids and without the funding we wouldn't have the equipment, we wouldn't have the surgeons, we wouldn't have the resources that they have. You know, maybe something like this video can help. So I hope he's an ambassador for people like him.